and good morning everybody Silas back again today we got something super and I mean super exciting today this is the opportunity of a lifetime to go film what we're about to film it's pretty early in the morning I'm about half awake but we're gonna head out I got to go pick up my cameraman because this isn't even something that I can do on my own this is one of the biggest things I've ever filmed I don't know if I'm gonna do it in one video if I'm gonna make it two videos I don't know what we're gonna do but we're gonna go have a ton of fun. That's what we're gonna do. So ride along with me. We're gonna hop in the truck. We've gotta drive about four hours. We are almost there now. We have been on the road for about four hours, but we're finally here. It's right in front of us. I don't know exactly where I'm going, so I gotta figure that out, but I'm gonna figure that out and uh, we'll see what's there. I don't really know what to expect. We are here, now I gotta find Andy. I'm not sure where he's at, but he's gotta be out here somewhere. All right, we're gonna check out the first building and then I'll kinda explain what's going on. They're getting ready to work in this building though, so we wanna get in here, get it filmed, and get out of here so they can get to work. I mean, the very first building we walk into and it's got this i mean <laughs> how crazy is that very first building very first thing i see is an extremely old airplane i don't even know how old that is but that is very cool bunches of old implement stuff oh well, it looks like here's all the parts of the airplane back here who knows what we're going to find in here if you hear noises they're out here mowing and bailing the grass dragging stuff out getting stuff ready for the auction which i'll talk more about that in just a moment Here's the wings for the airplane. All sorts of just fascinating and cool antique pieces of, of history. Over here, we got an old water tank. That's a pretty cool piece there. I've had a few of those over the years with that rivet design on them. Those are very popular pieces. Those always seem to sell pretty well, so I'm sure that'll do pretty good at the auction. We've got bunches of old buggies, horse and buggies, and these are old original ones. These aren't newer ones like you would see. Like where I'm from, there's a lot of Amish, and so they use a lot of horse and buggies, and they still make those brand new there. But these are old original ones. These are very, very old pieces of history here. Check this one out right here. That's pretty cool. Absolutely fascinating. I don't even know where to start. I mean, where do you start in a place like this? I'm overwhelmed. This is the first of 10 buildings. Let's see what we can find back here. Bunches of old horse and buggies. Old farm equipment. All mule drawn stuff and horse drawn stuff. I don't think there's anything motorized in this entire building except for that airplane. Check out this old machine here. I believe, if I'm correct, that's for throwing hay up into the loft of a barn. Loose cut hay, that is. Bunches of random parts. This looks like an old Ford hood here. Bunches of old windows. I mean, you just name it. 
good. It's hard telling what's really in here. When they have the auction, everything will be laid out nice and neat, with pictures taken of it. There's gonna be some pretty cool stuff, but that's gonna be on Big Iron. I'll put a link in the description. I'll tell you more about that in just a minute. Okay, now that we went through that building so they can work in there, we're just gonna start at the first building, start opening the doors, and we're gonna go through them. We've got nine more buildings to check out, plus some stuff outside, so let's get to it. A couple of these buildings don't have quite as much super cool stuff, but it's hard telling exactly what's in here. Like, check out that old uh, coffee bar machine over there. That is pretty cool right there. Five cent hot coffee. Black, no sugar. Black with sugar. Cream, no sugar. Cream and sugar. That is pretty cool. And right next to it, we got an old soda machine. We'll work our way through here. We see here we have a fine yard machine, fine piece of uh, lawn mowing history right here. No, I'm kidding, that's, that's probably just scrap. <laughs> Here's an oldie. That's a pretty old piece right there. And to my knowledge, everything in here is original. None of, these is, none of this is reproduction stuff. This is all original things. Here's another one right here. Bunches of their old Pioneer Village signs. And one thing I do want to make clear at this point in time is that Pioneer Village is not auctioning off the museum. Nothing in the museum is for sale. None of that is going to be on this auction. This is all just excess inventory that they've had stored in these buildings forever. They're just liquidating some of this excess inventory so that they can revamp and modernize and do a few really cool things at the museum and bring it up to date. So nothing at the museum is going away. That's still going to be here for quite a long time. And like I said, they're doing some exciting things over there. So I'm sure they're going to use this to help boost that over there. Check out this old truck over here. Look at that thing. Look at the original patina paint job on that truck. Flexo Glass Incorporated from Chicago. It's from Chicago. How cool is that? Very, very cool thing right there. The original paint, still from Warps. Got a little bit of lighting on it now. Check out that, check out that patina on that. Looks like about a 1950 or 51 Ford cab over. Yeah, I believe that's a 51 model here. Very good looking truck right there. I don't know exactly how these work, but if I remember right, you'd put your money in and then the bottles were held in with a little clamp deal and when you put your money in it would release one of the bottles to where you could grab it out. I think this thing's missing a few pieces but I could be wrong on that. I'm not an expert on old pop machines. Stuff like this is way before my time. We're done with the second building and we're going to go on to the third building and see what's in there. I guess this is the fire truck is what it looks like to me. We'll see what it is. Holstein Rural Fire District. What is this? About a 4950, 48, 4950 Chevy, somewhere around there. Looks to be in beautiful condition, probably always stored inside a building its entire life. A little bit dusty now, but it'll wash. Check this out, it still has the original tags on it. Nebraska County government. It's got all the fire hoses in the back of it. It's got all the hoses on the side of it, still just like it was decommissioned. That's pretty cool right there. What do we got over here? We got an old International. Look at this thing. I mean, a lot of these things are super dirty. They've kind of dust them off. 
That's still original paint under that, and it's in beautiful condition. Let's check inside it. Look at that interior. That interior still looks like new almost. Yeah, this is a beautiful example. If you're into this year of internationals, this will definitely be a good one. For those that have never seen something like this, check out where the gas tank lid's at on these. Right there on the fender. And then over here, looks like some old tractors. I'll check out this tractor right here. Now that's an oldie right there for sure. What is that? That looks like a Fordson? Yeah, it's a Fordson. Check out this truck right here. Absolutely beautiful cab over. About a 46, 47 Chevy, somewhere around there. Just absolutely amazing condition. Somebody put a fancy hood ornament on it at some point in time. <laughs> now, if I had to guess, I would say this is probably a repaint just by looking at it, but still, it's an absolutely beautiful condition. Door still open right up. Looks pretty good inside. I love these old trucks like this, but unfortunately they just, they bring way more money than I can afford. So stuff like this, I will not own, but there are a few things here that I've seen that I would maybe possibly bid on, depending on what they go for. We'll keep working our way down. We got a bunch of old church pews. Who knows how old these are? If I had to guess, I would say early 1900s, maybe even late 1800s. These are very old pews. How'd you like to go to church and sit on these? Although, I have been to some churches that have padded pews that are less comfortable than wood pews. Do you ever need a chair? <laughs> how, how many chairs would you like? I'm guessing these are probably from a restaurant or something like that. Or a bar, maybe, probably from a bar. Looks like you got a bunch of old wagons, old farm equipment, things like that in here. I'm not entirely sure what some of these even are, like, like this one right here, I have no clue what that is. Absolutely no clue. If you know what that is, let me know in the comments. I just realized that these pews are curved. To have something like that made nowadays would cost an absolute small fortune. I don't even want to know what it would cost to make something like this now. And these need a little bit of work, they've got a little bit of water damage it looks like, probably from a, a leak in the roof or something like that. But those are really in pretty good condition, especially considering how old those things have to be. Looks like a bunch more. Oh, check this out back here. Check this out. This is an old wooden windmill blade. Very cool piece right there. I've never actually seen one of those in that good a condition. Absolutely fascinating. Got another old wagon. Bunch more old tractors. Looks like an old farm all, I'm guessing. Yeah, another old farm all. Well, check out this old case. This old case is really cool. Building number four. Now, there's not a whole lot in this one, but there's one really cool item left in here still. He told me this was in here, I didn't really know what to expect, but look at this airplane. And like actually get up and close and look at this. Let me turn the flashlight on. This airplane is made out of wood. Can you imagine flying in a wood airplane? Look at the cockpit in this thing. How would you like to ride in that thing? This is the type of airplane that you'd actually ride with your head sticking out the top. Absolutely fascinating. Oh my, this one's a little bit crowded. You ever wanted a toilet? Plenty of toilets. Look at all these old wagon wheels. Just tons of old wagon wheels. 
really got to watch where you're walking in here. Oh my. Look at that. Look at that. That is fascinating. What is that? I'm not even sure what this is. Just check this thing out. This has got to be out of the 1800s at least. What to say on here? JB Slauson's 18, 1877. This was made in 1877. Absolutely crazy. Wow. It's a little on the rough side, but I guess if I was 150 years old, I'd probably be on the rough side too. I think this is the sheep herder's wagon that he was telling me about. What's it say on here? Oh, same thing. Wow. That is so cool. Old sheep herder wagon from 1877. Okay, we're gonna move on now. That sheep herder's wagon is very cool. I, that is awesome. I wish I could afford that, but I probably can't afford that. But up next, it looks like we have an old Divco. Once again, gotta watch where you're walking here. There's so much cool stuff that I keep not watching where I'm walking and I keep tripping. What's it say on here? Roberts, Howell's Dairy. Old dairy truck. That's what a lot of old Divcos were used for, was dairy trucks. Pretty cool truck. They're pretty sparse on the inside. They were made to work, not to look fancy or look pretty. They were made to work. I know where one of these is sitting in a tree row, but I mean, it is really, really rough. Guy could buy it pretty cheap probably, but it's very rough. Check out the old phone number on this thing. Phone number 325W. Got a bunch of neat stuff over here. This is an old pull behind thrasher. This piece here. They pull this behind. You can pull it behind a tractor. And that's probably what they pulled this one behind. But I've seen them that were set up for a mule team before. Made out of wood. What is this? I'm not even sure what that is. Looks like some sort of printing press. Like a miniature printing press. Yeah, that's what it is. It's got the deals on here and you would turn the handle and crank it through and the paper would pull through and print on it. So you'd have to lay out all the letters you wanted to do and then it would print it out on paper. That's a cool piece right there. What's this say on the side of this old water wagon? Can't quite tell, a lot of the writing is gone. Check this out. This old wagon is a water wagon made out of wood. Now that's gotta be out of the 1800s as well. Maybe early 1900s, but if I really had to guess, I would say late 1800s on that piece. Okay, this next piece coming up here, I got the flashlight on me so you can see me a little bit better. If this was what I think it is, this is a very, very, I don't even know what the word for it is. I know you guys hate it when I say cool, but this is like ultra cool. <laughs> Check this thing out. This is an old funeral cart. This thing is absolutely fascinating. Look at that, it still has the little ornament in the window. Very cool. That is just, just amazing. I don't even know the word for that. That is so amazing to find something like this parked in a barn in the middle of Nebraska. Wow. That thing looks to be in pretty, pretty beautiful condition. It looks like some of the old leather has been eaten up by mice, but the woodwork on this thing is so nice. Like, it's too nice to even restore. Oh, there's the old lights that would go on the corners of it right in there. I see inside the window now. Wow. Man, I wish I could afford stuff like that, but I don't have anywhere to put something like that anyway. It would just go bad if I had it, but that's going to make somebody a very, very cool collector piece right there. And check out these old cameras. As you guys might expect, I'm into old cameras. Are these projectors? No, these are projectors. But still, they're really cool. All sorts of interesting stuff hidden down in here. And we're barely even scratching the surface of this stuff. It's hard telling what's really hidden away. Hard telling what's actually in here somewhere underneath all this stuff. You definitely want to check this auction out. If nothing else, you ought to watch it just to see what stuff gets listed. Okay, we're going to see if we can work our way back out of this building. We're going to go on to the next one. Tons and tons of old wagons. If you ever wanted to buy a wagon, 
this auction is going to be your opportunity to buy a wagon. It's a tight squeeze in here. They have a ton of work ahead of them. If I can even get through here. I really, really like this sheep, sheep herder wagon. That is just a fascinating piece. I really wish I had a place to put something like that, but I'm sure that's gonna go for pretty good money anyway. Like I said, it's really rough, but it's 150 years old almost. I'll take this opportunity to kind of explain what's going on. All of this stuff belongs to Pioneer Village, but this is not part of the museum. This is all excess inventory, like I mentioned earlier, and they're gonna auction off. Everything you see in these buildings will be on the auction sale bill. Uh, they're gonna be on an online auction on bigiron.com. So that's where you wanna check it out. I will put it a link in the description below. I don't have the exact auction date yet, but as soon as I know, I will notify you guys, let you guys know what the day is gonna be for sure. But go ahead and bookmark Big Iron, that way you have it saved. And when it's time to post this, you'll know it was this auction. And I just wanna clarify that they are not auctioning off anything in the museum. I wanna make that very clear. They asked me to make that very clear. The museum is not closing down. They're trying to revamp and revitalize the museum. And in order to do that, they're working on cleaning out some of this stuff in here. They're lining up a bunch of old wagon wheels out here already. Bunches of neat ones. Check out these over here. I like the styling on those. They got the big gear on the inside in here. Got the bolts all the way around, the solid rubber tires. That's a cool set of wheels right there. I don't remember which building this is. I think five, maybe six, I lost track. I don't even know where to get in here. It's all blocked off. What is this car? We got a Fury 3. It's got a healthy layer of dust on it. Check out this old American LaFrance right here. That's a fascinating truck right there. Nebraska engine 154. Boys Ranch, huh. I can't imagine driving one of these. That would be so cool. Looks to be in pretty good condition. Check out the old siren up on top. Okay, let's keep working our way through this building. Oh, looks like they have the fire. I was trying to figure out what was underneath this plastic, but they have the fire truck covered up. Bunches of small stuff. Here's some old cast iron tractor seats. We got old cast iron tractor seats. There's old implement pieces. There looks like an old press of some sort. Check out the old bicycle. Look at that. That's an old bicycle right there. You guys know me and my bicycles. I'm gonna carefully work my way over there. Bunches of old bells, like school bells, church bells, that type of stuff in here. But check that thing out. That's one of the old high wheel bicycles. I forget what they're called. Penny farthing, is that what they're called? But well, that is too cool. Absolutely amazing treasures in this place. Tons of amazing treasures. I know you guys are gonna hate me for saying cool so much, but I don't know what else to say. This is just mind blowing, all the stuff that's in here. Like I said, there's so much stuff we probably aren't even gonna get to see because it's hidden down underneath other stuff. Bunch of old lanterns hanging up on the wall bunches of interesting things in here. Okay, we're gonna continue through this building. Check out these old iron grates down here. Beautiful architecture on those. There's several of them there. Some more old windmill blades, wooden windmill blades. I'm not sure what all we have back here. I'm not sure what this is. Let me turn my flashlight on real quick so we can get a better look at it. Looks like you put grain in it maybe. Some sort of grain separator. I'm sure it says on it. Oh, it's a mill. Star Mill. Philadelphia. That's a fascinating piece right there. Not sure what else is down here. Bunches of very old antiques in here. 
Look at all the old horses. Those look like they're from a merry-go-round or something like that. All inside the wooden crate still. Okay, check this out. That is a very, very old washing machine. What is that? One minute washer? Very, I've never seen a washing machine that old. Bunches of old washers in here. These are all old. That one's just really old. Oh, here's, check this one out. Check out this roller on this thing here. That's a hand smasher right there. Oh, a whole bunch of wooden washing machines. See, I've never seen one before and there's a whole pile of them in here. We got some old incubators for eggs. I've had a lot of those through the years. They're still neat, but I've had a lot of them. This here, I believe this is for, yeah, this is for a fire department. This is an old fire wagon right here. They put the tank on it and they could wheel it by hand to wherever the fire was at. Here's a big one right beside it. it still has the hoses and everything on that one. Now I have no clue what this is. If you know what that is, let me know. It says something on the side of it, but I can't quite tell what it is. Fresh. Oh, fresh roasted peanuts. That's an old peanut roaster. Wow, that's gotta be extremely old. That's probably well over a hundred years old. That is so cool. Fresh roasted peanuts, probably had it old circuses and things like that. Carnivals and fairs. Wow. There's some beautiful pieces of history in this place. It looks like back here we got some old baby trams. We're pushing around to babies. In my experience, these haven't had a whole lot of value, but these are very old ones, so maybe they do. I'm not sure. Check out the other side of this. The other side said hot roasted peanuts. This are fresh roasted peanuts. This side says hot buttered popcorn. The bonanza. That's, if I can somehow afford this, I want this. I don't know why I want this, but I want this so bad just because it's so interesting. And it's not that big, so it doesn't take up a ton of room. I really have no business bidding on anything in this place, but I'm gonna bid anyway. We got an old sled, bunches of old grain equipment for separating and sorting grains. We've got this, there's one back there. Very interesting pieces. I've had a few of those through the years. Check out all this really cool antique hardware off of old houses. Not hardware, but uh, what's the word for it? You know what the word is for it. I love stuff like that, architectural stuff. Look at this table. I, mean, I don't know that it's that old, but look, at it. it's huge. It's a massive table. I don't know, that's probably about 10 feet across. Maybe it's out of an old bar or saloon or something like that, I don't know. Look at all this horse and mule tech. Just tons of it laying all over the place. Just a mountain of it. <laughs> Look at this piece over here. I'm not entirely sure what that is. Maybe a cab off of something. An old fire truck cab, homemade cab or something. I'm not entirely sure what it is, but it's very interesting. Bunches more old farm equipment, some old iron wheels. They have the spikes on them for traction off the really old tractors. Bunches of those all through here. Okay, I think we're about done in this building. So we're gonna go on to the next building. There's a bunch more buildings to go through and there's some stuff outside yet too. While he's mowing down there, we're gonna skip over here and start with these buildings. That way we're not having to record right next to a lawnmower. I have no clue what's gonna be in here, so let's find out. Okay, let's find out with this door. Nothing, it's empty. Let's see what's in this one here. Yeah, there's stuff in this one. I can see it already. Okay, so I just walked in this building. My eyes didn't adjust right away. And I'm kind of looking here. I'm like, oh, it's an old El Camino. whoop de doo I crush those fairly often still. Obviously not this nice. This one's way too nice to crush. This one will bring pretty good money probably. But then I look over here and see what's over here. There's a torpedo in here. Where else are you gonna see a torpedo at? This is a legit, genuine torpedo. <laughs> so, so fascinating. I have 
never seen a torpedo, much less in an abandoned barn in Nebraska. Like that is, that is unbelievable. If I can even get down to the other end, I want to see what it looks like. Okay, so it's got a tag down here. They must have had this in the museum at one point in time. But it says this was found near Fort Lauderdale in 1950. This is a World War II torpedo from around 1942. So evidently, it never found its mark. Maybe it was a, a test, maybe it was just a dud, maybe it just fell off a boat. I have no clue. But that is unbelievable. If I can somehow wing it, I feel like I have to have this piece. That is by far my favorite piece I've found so far. All right, let's keep going. If we stop and stare at the really interesting stuff all day long, we'll never get through everything out here. Next up on the list, we've got an old tractor. Looks like a McCormick Deering. Pretty interesting piece. I'm just really not into tractors, but I know a lot of you are. So this is your opportunity. If you want to buy a neat tractor, this is where you can do it. Look at this right here. I know this isn't the most interesting find ever, but you don't see these in good condition ever anymore. This is an old Dodge Rampage. When I was a kid, we crushed these things all the time because they were just throwaway junk. But nowadays, you never see these anymore. Huh. Classic 80s styling. Got to play limbo to get through here. Limbo, limbo, limbo. And hope it doesn't fall on you. We got an old Dodge Royal. That's what this is. Good looking car. It has one crunch over there on the other quarter panel, but this is a very good looking car. Got the original interior. Check out that dash. Wow. What is this? What's it say? The auto gas engine? What is an auto gas engine? I've never heard of such a thing. I'm gonna have to look that up. Let's keep going. I'm gonna look that up. I can't look it up in here because there's no reception at all inside these barns. There's a very poor reception out here in the middle of nowhere anyway but inside these barns, I get nothing. So when I get outside, I'm gonna look that thing up and see exactly what it is. It's called the auto combustible engine. So we'll see, or the auto gas engine, I'm sorry. So we'll keep going through here. Looks like we've got an old shoebox Ford. It's just a Mordor, but it looks pretty clean. Check these out over here. These are still in really good condition, it looks like, especially that one. Some sort of grain separators. I don't know if they're for corn. I'm guessing they're for corn, being that we're in Nebraska. Oh, I just now noticed this. Look at that. Look at those tracks. The thing actually has tracks on it. It looks like some sort of homemade panel van with tracks on it. If that isn't cool, I don't know what is. Pardon me for saying that word over and over again. I know that's a four letter word to you guys, but that is cool. Looks like it just has a single seat inside. There's no door on the back of it, so you have to actually go in here through the passenger door to get in the back of it. Looks like the radiator's laying in there. Unfortunately, it does look like the engine and grill is gone, but uh, those parts might be laying out here somewhere. Just have to look around and see if we can find them. But the fact that this has tracks on it, I don't know what the purpose of this vehicle was, but it's got a plywood roof, it's got a plywood back half, and it's got tracks. So I don't know if this was like a a snowmobile or or what the what the deal was on it maybe that's what it was maybe this was like a snowmobile that could carry the family into town in the snow i don't know hard telling i know it's definitely interesting let's see what else is in here i see another old truck over here that's definitely an oldie right there old old truck Looks like the hood is gone, but the rest of it looks like it's pretty well here. It's got an old wood bed on it, so this must be a one-ton truck. We'll keep going. I think there's another old vehicle back here. Looks like another old truck. Osborne. That's the town that we came through on the way out here is Osborne. Yeah, there's another old truck back here. Now this one I think is a Chevy. Can't really see much of it back here behind all this stuff. 
they'll for sure get it out and they'll take it out and take better pictures of it so you can see exactly what you're bidding on. But it looks like it's a pretty good looking truck. It looks pretty well complete. Check out the styling on this car here. It's got some really good styling. This car is more up to my speed. I like the 50s and 60s stuff. This car is a little beat up. The body's a little rough, but I mean, where else are you going to find a Dodge Well? This looks like around a 55, 56, I'm guessing. Now there's an oldie. Looks like an old Model T frame or something like that. And it's got an old touring body. Oh, there's two touring bodies here. It's just a stack of old cars. When I was a kid, you could go to auctions and you could buy these for like a hundred bucks. Everywhere, every auction, every farm auction you went to had an old touring body laying out there, a touring car out of the teens and you know, a hundred bucks, 150 bucks. But nowadays you can't touch them for that. <laughs> Look at this right here. I don't know what it is. They're very interesting, whatever they are. Looks like they have a pulley inside them. And they're a corner mount, whatever they were. So I don't know what those are. If you know what those are, let me know in the comments. You can kind of see through here, there's just tons of stuff. Now what I'm guessing what they're going to do with some of this stuff is just put it in piles and sell the whole pile. Some of the, the odds and ends trinkets. But if there's a really unique, good piece, I'm sure they'll pull it out by itself. Okay, so when I got out of the barn, I was able to look up that auto engine. And that's a German designed engine. Uh, it's from the 1800s. Very, very old. One of the earliest combustion engines they made. A very interesting piece and they use them in a lot of uh, industry and where uh, not warehouses but uh, manufacturing things like that and so it wasn't really an automotive engine but it's still a fascinating piece so if you're into really old uh, historical items that's got to be on your watch list right there it's a very cool piece there's a few more buildings to go through but before we go over there I want to check out these cars that are right here because these all sell as well right here we have an old vagabond very cool vehicles I've only ever seen a few of these or was this a Kaiser? Was it a Kaiser Vagabond? Yeah, it was a Kaiser, wasn't it? It'll see right here, yeah. Kaiser Vagabond. Look at the inside of this car. Now these cars have been stored outside, so these are a little bit rougher. Now that car is rare enough that if you like those, it's probably worth fixing. And then this old Chevy over here, the rest of these might be parts cars, they might be fixable, I don't know. That's up to you to decide. They'll be dragging these out, getting better pictures of them. What is this, a 59 or a 60? I can tell you by the tail, yeah, 60. Doesn't 50, yeah, 59 has the long skinny tail light, 60 has the doubles. Got an old K5 Blazer. What do we got here? Courtesy vehicle, probably from a dealership or something like that. Old Chevy. It's a two door hardtop. A couple of them here. This one here's a more of the fastback style. Oh, for the airport. See, you can see down there. Airport courtesy. The Pioneer Village. Over here we got some old tractors. Some sort of homemade contraption on this one. I'm not entirely sure what that is. We got an old Dodge. I'm guessing is what this is. Yeah, about a early 60s Dodge. Pretty clean car. I don't see hardly any rust in it. I guess it's Chrysler. Chrysler, but it's rusted out at the front like they always are. But the rest of the car is pretty clean. Old International pickup. What's this say on here? Looks like they painted over the top of something, so now it's bleeding through and I can't tell what it says. Looks like an old road grader with a massive tree growing through it. Interesting piece. We'll go over here and check out that old big truck. It's an old white, white diesel. Pretty interesting truck. I'm not so much into the big trucks, but I know a lot of people are, and that one's pretty clean and looks to be complete. So I'm sure there's a collector out there somewhere that has to have that. You can see over there, they've started the process of dragging some of the stuff out of the buildings, lining it up. Looks like some old farm implements, some old trucks they've already got out, just other odds and ends things. They're going to be working on that for the next couple of weeks. Then they'll go through, take pictures of everything, and start getting it listed. Look at this. An old switchboard for making phone calls when the operator would actually have to connect you through and put the different switches and do the different things and plug the different plugs. I don't even know how it works, but I know what it is. It's an old switchboard. That is beyond 
fascinating. I, I love this really old stuff like this. You just, you never get to see this stuff. And this is maybe the opportunity of a lifetime for people that actually collect these things to buy stuff like this. If I was rich and I had a big house, this is something that I would bid on. Okay, let's keep going through here. Bunches of old telephones in here. Got another old Divco over here. This one's a little bit bigger than the last one. This one looks like being in a little bit better condition too. Bunches of old school desks. Really old pieces there. Let's go in here and see what we can find. This is just how you get through to the other side. Pioneer Dairy is what it says on the side of it. Let's keep working our way through here and see what else is in this room. Bunches of old soda fountain stuff in here. Yeah, Bastion Blessing. I've actually had a few of these through the years. I think this is an old ice cream machine right here. Ice cream or soda, maybe both. Big old mixers of some sort. I'm not entirely sure what these are, but I think they're big mixers. Old kitchen equipment, whatever it is. Looks like a bunch of old stuff back there. Old bed frames. A bouncy horse. Baby carriages. All sorts of interesting things. We'll make our way back through this way. I was trying to figure out what this is. I can't quite tell what it is. I have no clue what this did. Hard telling. There's another phone booth back here. That's pretty interesting. You don't see phone booths anymore. Kind of a thing of the past. They got this stuff crammed in here. The only way through is to go back through the Divco. Now the guy I got filming, Carlos, he thought he was getting out of doing hot jobs today. He was going to go mowing yards and he thought he was getting out of doing hot stuff because he was going to go run a camera. He didn't realize he was going to be doing just as hot at work in here in these hot buildings. <laughs> oh, wow. Check this out. An old light. I'm guessing out of like a dentist or a hospital or something like that. That's pretty interesting. I like that. Bunch more kitchen stuff in here. Ovens. Bunches of interesting stuff all through here. I definitely wish this wasn't so far away from me. If this was closer to home, I'd come volunteer to help drag this stuff out just so I could see what was in here as it comes out because you know there's really cool stuff down underneath all this. There's got to be. If it wasn't four hours away, I'd definitely volunteer. There's not as much stuff in this one. It almost looks like they've already taken a few things out of here. But it looks like there's still some pretty good stuff in here. Check out this old Zenith sign. Zenith Chroma Color Television. Let's see what else is in here. Looks like we got some cars in this one. Quite a few cars. That's an interesting boat over there. Check out this old Ford station wagon. I like that. What is that? About a 66? 5? Somewhere in there? There's quite a few old cars parked in this building. What's this one here? An old Plymouth, it looks like. Yeah, it looks like an old Plymouth. An old Maverick. What's this one? This is a Comet? Or no, this is a Falcon. This is a Falcon here. What's this? Is this a Volvo? I think this is a Volvo. You know, it's 
kind of crazy, but this is actually kind of a rare car. This is an Eagle Premier. I actually drove one of these a long time ago out of the junkyard. This car here still has the Pioneer restaurant riding on the side of it. Nebraska's top of trash. That's pretty cool right there. And last but not least, we got an old Pontiac. It's got a 400 in it. Pretty good looking car, really. Still got the original metallic paint underneath all that dust. And then over here, check out this old 7-Up machine. Still got good patina on that. That's a pretty good piece right there. Bunches of old furniture. Oh wow, some good stuff in here. We've got another old international, but check out these over here. I have no clue what those even are, but they look really neat. <laughs> look at this old cab. Look at that original patina on that. I absolutely love that. That's a very good piece there. There's an old snowmobile. That's a pretty old one, really. And next to it, we got an old travel. -o. Can you imagine hauling the family around in this? Still looks like new inside, I think. It's got a few condition issues, but that'll clean up pretty good. Got an old Studebaker dump truck. That's a good looking truck right there. Even the wood on the bed is still in really good condition. We got some sort of machine here. It looks like a square baler. That's what I'm guessing it is. Old square baler. Got some more snowmobiles. Looks like we got three of them here, four of them. Bunch of snowmobiles in here. Oh, well, there's a whole row of them over there. So there's, yeah, there's a bunch of snowmobiles. If you like snowmobiles, this will be the auction for you. <laughs> Look at this car here. Old two-door sedan. In really, really good condition. The front fender is a little bit crunched, but other than that, this car is immaculate. As far as the paint and the body on it, I'm sure the interior is no good, but I think it's all here. Very good looking car. And then over here beside it, behind it I mean, beside me, is an old truck. I can't quite tell what it is. I'm not sure what year this truck is. I think it's around a 37, 38, 39, somewhere in there. Ford pickup. It looks to be missing the hood, but other than that, I think it's all here. It's got the original V8 in it. It's a half ton, so it's got the really cool rear fenders on it. That's a pretty good looking truck right there for somebody. Bunches of snowmobiles all through here. And I can't quite tell what those over there are, but I think it's the horses off of an old merry-go-round. So we're going to see if we can work our way around over there and get to those and check those out. We walked right past this a minute ago. I didn't even notice what it was because I was busy looking at the Studebaker. But look at this old Hemi. This is an old Hemi industrial engine. I'm not sure what size it is. I'm going to guess a 392. And if I had to guess, I'd say it probably runs. Usually these old industrial engines do run, especially if it's been stored inside. But definitely if you're into old Hemis, that's probably a good one there for you. Over here, I'm not sure what this engine is. Old International, I'm thinking. It's another industrial engine, but I'm guessing that's an International six-cylinder. Pretty good looking engine right there. It's looking to me like every sign they ever put up, they never got rid of it. They kept them all because every single one of these buildings is full of old Pioneer Village signs. I'm not sure if those are gonna be in the auction or not. Uh, you'll just have to look at the auction bill and see if they're on there. Yep, that's exactly what these are. These back here, these are horses from a carousel. I believe they're wooden. Looks like a couple of them have broken legs, but still. That's an original, there's the F, that is a whole complete carousel. All the rides for the carousel. And actually, it looks like down here, yeah, here's the rest of the carousel. So yeah, that's a complete carnival ride right there. Complete vintage antique carousel. Wow, that is, if you're into old carnival rides, that right there is your opportunity to buy an original. You may never get another opportunity. You better bid on it. And remember, any of the stuff that you see, you can buy on BigIron.com. 
check them out. Like I said, I don't know exactly when the auction is, but you just gotta keep checking back on their website. Uh, they're hoping to get it in September, but that may not be official, so don't count on that. But uh, just be looking for it because it's gonna be a big auction. It's gonna be an awesome auction. There's gonna be lots of opportunities to buy very unique, one-of-a-kind pieces that are original and have original paint, not restored pieces, but original pieces. And so this is gonna be definitely an auction you wanna check out. I think we have one more building to go through, so let's go check it out, and I gotta get some water. Last building, what's gonna be inside it? Check out this old round staircase, spiral staircase. That's pretty interesting. Bunches of old horse and mule drawn equipment. Check out this old sedan right here. Just an original survivor. You just don't see stuff like this very often. Get a flashlight on. You can still see the brush strokes in it where it was brush, brush painted. Oh, wow. And then the truck that was by the entrance is about a 1946-47 Ford. Somewhere in that range. Looks like the grill's a little bit bigger up, but the rest of the truck, neat old farm truck. All the interior is still in this car. It's seen better days, but it's all there still. Even the wooden steering wheel is still on it. A new land, old traditions. Hold the phone. There's something really cool over here. I've never, ever seen one of these in person before, other than that really, really rusty one I crushed a while back, but that was falling apart. But I've never seen one of these actually complete in person. We've got a legit woody wagon right here. It's a little bit on the rotted side, but it's all still there. Wow, <laughs> I've never seen one of those. I didn't realize they were actually that much wood. Even the body's kind of made out of wood. I never realized that. I thought they were mostly metal and just had wood down the sides, but that's actually all wood. I guess I see why they called them woody wagons. Huh. Very cool piece right there. And then we, behind it here, we got another old sedan. What is this one? This is an old Plymouth here. It's got pretty good patina on it. Pretty good looking car. Let's see what else we got in here. We got some old tractors over here on this side. I'll check out this tractor. Check out this old Twin City. I crushed one of these years ago. I still have the radiator tank cap off of it. It says Twin City like this. Back in the day, like I said, you'd go to auctions and stuff like this would be five and $10 when I was a kid. Nobody was into saving it because it was everywhere. So unless it was really nice, nobody wanted it. But nowadays, you just don't see these anymore, so I'm not sure what this is worth, but I guess the auction will determine that. Got a bunch more equipment. It looks like we got another old sedan back here. Before we go there, what's this? I can't quite tell what this is. It's got some sort of piston set up here that does that number as it moves. I don't know, some sort of farm equipment. It's got a pulley over there on that side. So as it rolls along, it chugs and lugs and does something. I'm not entirely sure what it is. Yeah, back there, oh, there's a whole bunch of them. There's multiple sedans, a whole row of them. I can't tell what they all are from here. Car number one is a Nash. I knew I'd never seen one like that. I've never seen a Nash this year. I've never seen one that old. That is a Nash. The next one, oh, that's a star. You never see stars. Oh, that's a coupe. That's not even a sedan. That's a coupe. It's got the little hump trunk on it. And then the next one, I can't quite tell what it is. I'll have to go over there and see. I don't know how to get over there, though. Bunch of old tractors. I'll have to go around the other side, I think, to get to that stuff. Okay, I made it over the top. I want to see what this car is. This is an Overland Whippet. I've never actually seen a Whippet. 
I've seen a few Overland Willys, but never an Overland Whippet. That is pretty cool right there. Got an old Wallace tractor, another old Farmall. Oh wow, look at this thing over here. I've never seen a steam power tractor in person before, like in this setting. This is an advanced Roomly. Can you imagine riding out in the field on this thing? And it's chugging a lugging along and it's got the steam and I can't imagine that. That'd be so cool. I cannot imagine farmers these days using stuff like that. They've got their fancy John Deere combines that are GPS guided. But back in, back then you had to work. I mean, not quite as hard as you had to work when you were pulling a team of mules or horses or something like that. But you still had to work to drive one of these tractors and you had to have somebody feeding it. And it was a lot of work. It was about a two or three man crew just to run one of these things. And that's not counting whatever you were pulling behind it. Whatever you were pulling behind it, you had to have guys working that too. <laughs> I'm so fascinated. I got so distracted by that Woody over there. I didn't notice the old Chevy sedan inside this little lean-to thingamajigger. But look at that. I bet you that's original paint on this car. It could be a repaint. A car's this old, I mean, it, it could have been repainted 80 years ago. <laughs> so what do you do? But, looks like all the interior has gone out of it, but still that's a very clean, clean and complete Chevy. I have no clue what year it is. If you know what year that is, let me know. But these old cars like this, they're all out of the 20s and 30s. I have no clue exactly what year they are. So this is the last building that we're going to go through. Uh, there's no more buildings. There are a few cars out in the middle. There's an old, uh, I think it's a Chrysler or a Dodge. It's got another 392 Hemi in it. We'll check that out here in just a minute and then I'll do some drone footage of the area. But this is the last building. Bunches of bunches and bunches and bunches and bunches of very unique things in here. Be sure to check it out on BigIron.com. Imperial had some funky taillights and headlights through the years. It has rear AC on it. Right here's the vents. And then we we'll blow the AC in the back right here. That way you can cool down the car. That was pretty common style for the old AC is it would come in the rear and blow it to the front rather than blow it through the front to the rear. And then over here beside it, last but not least of the vehicles here, we have another old 49, 48, uh, 50 model, somewhere around there, Chevy 6400 grain truck. I lied, there's one more vehicle, a really, really old vehicle. It's an international. This is a very old international. I have no clue how old this thing is, but definitely over 100 years old. Check out under the hood of it. I've had a million of these magnetos and never knew what they went to, but now I do. I like how the radiator is behind the engine and the engine's turned around backwards. That's pretty interesting. Okay, at this point in time, I'm gonna get the drone out. I'm gonna do some footage of the whole place. We'll put it together and then we'll close this out. We are done here. I'm going to go ahead and head out. We have a long drive to get back home tonight. 
Like I said before, I wish so bad I could stay and help clean this place out and see all the really cool treasures I dig out as I go, but uh, you'll have to just check that out once the auction's here. And big shout out to Annie for even setting me up with this in the first place. I really appreciate that. Things like this don't just happen. He put, really put in the work and made it to where I could get in here and film this to help him out, help Big Iron out, and help myself out because this was a ton of fun. I had a blast filming this place. There's so much interesting history here. And uh, maybe once I get everything lined up, maybe if I have time, I'll come back again and film it once it's all organized and see exactly what all's here. But with that, guys, if you enjoyed this, please give it a thumbs up. Please share this video. Tell other people about it. This is one of my favorite videos I think I've ever done. There was just so much neat stuff here. Sorry, there's a dust tornado blowing through. It kind of got me distracted for a second. I don't know where the wind got. I got the dust going in here. There's a ton of barn dust in here. This is Cobb City. If you're allergic to barn dust, you do not want to come in here. But anyway, I'm going to let you all go with that. I hope you have an absolutely fantastic rest of your day. And I hope you get out there and you find an adventure. And hopefully you can find an adventure as fun as this. We'll see you next time. First daylight, who knows how many years. <laughs>